What's up everyone, I'm Dakota Dean. I'm a spray paint stencil artist from Seattle, Washington. And I have a painting that's long overdue. It's for a couple of friends of mine. Their names are Joel and Jordan. They have a band called Comfort the Killer. They are super dope and super good dudes. I've got a link in the bio where you can listen to their music and check them out. So a few months back, they hired me to design their logo. I designed their logo and then I kind of had this idea for this album art type thing that I made it because I wanted to make it. So in the back of my mind since then, I've kind of been thinking, I'd love to paint this for them and send it to them as a surprise. So I think it's time to do that. Let's go down to the shop and let's start making this painting. stencils laid out. This stencil here is about a 10 layer stencil, which is really funny because I constantly am telling myself, you need to stop making them complicated. I make these designs and I'm like, this is hella cool. I can do this. I just need 15 fucking layers. And I realize how I could do so much more with so many fewer, so many less, so many fewer, with much fewer much more less, much more fewer. Or I'm going with much more fewer. I could do a lot more with less is what I'm getting at. The two things that we gotta do now are one, we gotta tape up the sides of the canvases so that they're cleaned up from blowback, and then we gotta proof. Proofing is my favorite part. So the reason I like the proofing process so much is that it's a no pressure creative time. Is because it's one of the times where I really just get to relax, play with my colors, and play with my spray paint. I can throw on some music or a super dope audiobook. I'm talking about The Witcher right now, get up on that if you haven't. And just let the paint flow out of those cans, man. It's my favorite. So the reason it's so important to proof on a normal sheet of paper before I start painting on the canvas is my canvases are all collaged by the time I start putting spray paint on them. And if I make even a tiny little mistake at that point, I risk ruining the whole thing. Because at that point, I would have to re-collage the entire thing and start the multi-layering process all over from step one. And that's why I proof to identify those mistakes on the paper first before I ruin a canvas. Alrighty, so this is why I proof. I actually just made my first mistake um, with the layers. Now I know for when I paint it that uh, I fucked up in my stencil planning and uh, I'm gonna clean that up real quick and keep going. So you can actually see what I messed up pretty clearly here. See how the pills are visible through his mouth? They're about to get covered with black spray paint, which means I've gotta take the layers that came before it, go back over the painting, repaint those on there in order for the design to look correct in the end. Now we're Gucci. Oh, check it out. Alrighty, so proof number one is done. I do want to do a second proof just to try a slightly different variation of colors and values. However, I did just run out of cyan spray paint, which means I've done painting for the night. So I'm gonna wake up super early tomorrow, head over to Blick first thing, buy the spray paint, come back, get to work so that we can get this painting finished by the weekend. I stayed up way too late last night. <sighs> All right, so I gotta go to Blick. As soon as it opens, I don't know what time that is. Oh, my eyes super itchy. Hey, I made my proofs. I'm gonna stay awake for all of it. Alrighty, I just left Blick. Uh, I got my big bag of art supplies here. I got spray paint and I bought a, a ton of caps too because I was running low on those. Now that I've got more blue spray paint, let's get rolling, let's get finished, I'm excited. All right, you guys, 
I have a problem. It is now Thursday. The last clip that I made was on Tuesday, and I had ran out of blue paint, which I needed to make the second proof. The whole thing is, we're on a timeline here. I've got a guest wall at my friend's gallery tomorrow night, and I wanted to have this piece ready so I could hang it on that wall tomorrow. So Tuesday night, I come up with this plan. I'm gonna wake up super early Wednesday morning. Long story short, I didn't sleep very well that night at all. About 10 minutes into working, I realized like, I am not gonna get anything done today. So I said to myself, why don't you just take the day? I didn't sleep very well last night either. And then I woke up this morning, late. Now it's 5.30 and... <laughs> so now I gotta stay up super late finishing this painting because it's gotta be painted tonight. That way I can varnish it in the morning and it's dry to the touch when I hang it on the wall tomorrow. That being said, I'm gonna bust out that second proof and then I'm gonna circle back with you guys and show you where I'm at. Alrighty, so the second proof is done. So this is the proof I made yesterday. My biggest issue was that the butterfly was too dark and the skull seemed like it didn't have enough contrast. So I've made my second proof here, and literally, you can see how huge of a difference this makes. Um, all I did for this proof here is I changed the blue to be a brighter blue, and I added darker shadows on the skull. So you can see how that really just makes the painting pop a lot more. This is why we proof, get a couple different options, and then choose from the best one. Now that I'm happy with the proof, it's time to just throw this down on a canvas. morning everyone oh damn that's good coffee anyways in the true spirit of procrastination I got most of the painting done last night then my little ADHD brain was like you know what what you should do is you should go to the gym and get some exercise in yeah you know the painting finishing that that's a problem for future Cody assault I got this yeah, no, I, I didn't. So here I am, about 9 a.m. I lied, it's, it's, it's 11. <laughs> I've gotta be at uh, the Greenwood Collective, and so I've got five hours to get the last few layers of this painting finished. So I'm gonna get this busted out. It's gonna take me about an hour to finish painting it, and then get the boxes packed for the show tonight, get back down here and varnish it. We should be good to go. All right, so the paintings are done. I've got all the stencils down. Um, all I need to do is kind of prep them for hanging and put a coat of varnish on them. I think we should be good to go. This is some super last minute prep that I'm doing and I always tell myself I'm never gonna procrastinate this bad again, but uh, this is just my lifestyle, I guess. <laughs> I think they turned out pretty good. I'm happy with them. Anyways, let's get to that. Uh, get these things ready to hang and we'll check right back with you guys tonight at the show. two hours to this reception and um, I gotta lock up my shop 
The paintings are finished. They've got varnish on them. The varnish is drying. Um, I think we're good to go. I've got to go run and drop a couple things off. Come back, pick these up, pack up, and we're going to head over to the Greenwood Collective for tonight's show. So I will see you guys there. One, two, three. So I just got here, we got everything set up. I got my Santa hat on uh, because I'm ready for Christmas night. You guys are probably watching this in the summer, so it's probably really weird that this is a Christmas party. Just fucking vibe with it. Christmas in July, some shit. The music's going, got a few people like straggling in and out. I'm super excited. I think it's gonna be a really fun night. The piece is ready, it's dry, the wall looks awesome. I'm super grateful for Jen and Jill and my friends at Mutiny Gallery um, here at the Greenwood Collective for having me. So without further ado, Stoked, you guys. I just sold a bunch of prints. No, I had like three or four people roll through and they each bought like a stack and that's made my night. Alrighty guys, we've had a great night. This show's about over. Um, now I just have to pack up. It's super late. Um, I'm not quite sure how to end this video actually right now. No, so like an outro clip is like when I'm like, oh, Whoa. like this has been a great show. Like, peace out. Like it that really would be like an outro clip. Do you want to help me? Outro clips are some bullshit. Fuck this. Edit that shit out. Every second Friday, come on down and hang out with us. This video is made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please consider supporting me on Patreon. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you can make more future videos possible. To become a Patreon, visit patreon.com slash artbydakotadine.